Well, hello there. I'm Pete LaFrance, the old growler, and welcome to Meeting Expectations. If this is your first time here, what we do is we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer, sometimes a spirit stops by, sometimes a bottle of wine, and we read the label, see what the uh, fellows are trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Oh, first off, there's three things we do here that is a little bit different than most tastings. First off, some people use different glasses for different beers. Well, I use the same style glass for all beers. That way there is no leg up when it comes to checking out the color or the aromatics. Speaking of aromatics, the tastings I do are a little bit different than most tastings. Most tastings, you see, you sniff, you sip, and you speak. What I do is I see, then sip, then sniff, and then speak. I'll let Master Sommelier Fred Dex explain it all to you right up there. And finally, the temperature that you serve your beer is very important. Ales should be served between 50 and 55 degrees, and lagers, they should be down further, for, say, a little bit below 40 to 45 degrees. The right temperature, click on the link up there to find out the right temperature for your beer. What I do is I take the temperature with a thermo pen. And if you want to get one, there is a link down in the description box below. All right, let's crack this open and see what we have here. All right, for those of you who have been here before, you know what to expect. Okay, we start out. This is from the 21st Amendment Brewery, and they are in San Leonardo, California. And let's see, what do we have on the label? We have the Statue of Liberty uh, holding a watermelon, and that is because this is hell or hell or high hell or high watermelon a wheat beer brewed with watermelon it is a seasonal release it says it is 12 fluid ounces and I'm looking for an alcohol by volume on here and yes there it is 4.9 and it's two dollars and seventy cents from the local beer barrel store. All right, what are we expecting? Well, well it's a wheat beer, so it's going to be a, a nice, bright beer, possibly a cloudy beer. Uh, watermelon, uh, that's uh, they're, they're putting anything in beers, and I tell you, it's going to be interesting to taste. I know what a watermelon tastes like. I know what wheat beer tastes like, uh, particularly American wheat beers, uh, similar to or not similar to the Bavarians. So it'll be a creamy. It'll be refreshing. It'll be watermelony. It depends on how much watermelon they put in here. We'll find out. Okay, let's see if it meets expectations. Mm. All right. Here we go. Oh, it's pretty clear. Pretty clear beer this year. Throws quite a head. A lot of carbonation there. A nice clear yellow. I think it, it, the light coming through here on my side, it really is uh, a dark straw. Uh, not quite lemon, not quite lemon looking, but look at that beautiful head boy, that's big. All right, this is a wheat beer. So it is lagered, so it should be at a relatively cold temperature. And we are at 46 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's nice and chilled. All right, uh, we've taken a look. Uh, that's pretty much what we expected. First sip. Yes, that is watermelon, but it's not a fake watermelon. That is a, a very natural flavored watermelon on that. Um, it's a summertime seasonal beer. So I'm, I'm going, I'm all ready for that. And I was ready for that. It lingers a bit. It's not quite as crisp. Um, 
but again if you were having some if you were having some steamed clams with this or possibly a lobster uh, I would oh, oh a lobster with the butter uh, drawn butter this would be a perfect combination oh wow well let's take a nose dive there's not there's not much to that there's a little bit of of um, of uh, when I say vegetal, I mean it's like if you took green leaves and crumpled them together, and you would get that aromat, that, that aroma. Well, that's there. There's no watermelon, uh, so the watermelon is all in the flavor. Let's take another swig. Mm, very light. Very light watermelon. That that's very refreshing. Yes. All right. Does Hell or High Watermelon Wheat Beer from 21st Amendment Brewing Company meet expectations? It certainly does. I am Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.